osmvtxreviews.com. Today we're talking about the Mad Cat's wireless 2.4 um, GHZ wireless remote control for the Nintendo Wii or for the Nintendo GameCube. Now this is very interesting because the Nintendo Wii is actually backwards compatible with Nintendo GameCube uh, games. Of course, you're not going to actually use a physical um, Wii remote to actually interact um, wirelessly, but you can you know, still game with a gaming joystick and the navigational uh, tools. But if you are going to use um, play Nintendo uh, GameCube games, you cannot use, uh, for the most part, a traditional um, Wii Remote because you're going to be limited to the control set. And that's why something like this really comes into the play. Uh, the Mad Cat's 2.4 GHZ wireless uh, gaming control pad is only around $10. It's really cheap, but it's a full wireless solution. It connects to the front of your Wii, and then it wirelessly sticks out the signal. So it's pretty much wireless, just like a Wii remote, except you're having the full gaming experience, and this works with all Nintendo GameCube games really well. It's like playing on the GameCube, um, except you're using a Wii, which is also compatible with purely Wii games. So this is something really useful if you are, you know, a hardcore gamer and you just want to do a lot of gaming, and um, if you have a Wii, you just want to transform into something more serious and more dedicated to just professional gaming rather than uh, playing around with, with the uh, interactive wireless stuff. So this works with the Wii. It's something that you should invest in because even if you know you just love playing motion control gaming, you still might own, um, or you still might buy you know, GameCube games that are really good games, and um, this would work out really well because it's cheap and it's wireless. It's wireless an option. So taking a look at the design, it comes in black. Um, nothing too standard here. We have a sensing uh, sensor that tells you how much battery you have left by the LED indicator underneath. We have a traditional joy, dog joy dial that uh, rotates 360 degrees, as well as a four-way navigation toggle. A secondary joy, do joy dial, as well as an A, B, Y, X. We have some Z, and this is an on-off for the wireless controls, and L and R buttons. These are really nicely designed buttons. They're really tactile and easy to press, um, and, and easy to use, and easy to grip. So it feels very comfortable and very lightweight. In terms of battery, it just takes two AAA batteries that last a very long time. So it saves and conserves battery as well, so you don't have to worry that... By wireless, it's going to consume too much of your gameplay and performance. Overall, it's very recommendable, and it's definitely for people who um, want to take their GameCube, um, transfer, trade in their GameCube for a Wii, but don't want to sacrifice their old GameCube games, or if you're just a Wii player who wants to play with a little bit more serious, uh, um, seriously oriented, traditional gaming um, uh, skill sets. So thanks for watching here at osmvtxreviews.com. Please check out our full review on our website.